Hello students, today we are going to do an activity from the chapter number 2 that is motions of the earth. Okay students, so for this activity we will require a candle and a globe or a ball. Okay, suppose this is a globe or a earth with these two things. We are going to do the activity. Today actually we are going to learn the rotation of the earth. How does earth rotates itself as well as how does it revolves around the sun. As well as we are going to study how does day occur and how does night occur. Okay. So without wasting time let's get started. Do not do this activity without the help of your parents. Okay, if you want to do. Yeah, students, very good. So just now you have seen that on this whiteboard, I have drawn a circle and the circle has a center here. So I will put this candle on the center, exactly on the center. Why we are putting candle here? Yes. So, here the candle will do the work of sun. Okay. Suppose this candle is a sun. Now, I have the ball. Okay, student. First of all, we will see how the earth rotates. And which part of the earth receives light from the sun. Okay, this is sun. I will put the ball or a globe on the circle this way. Now, it is important to switch off the light. So, you can understand the activity better. Okay, student. So, I will switch off the light now. Yes. Now, see. On the circle, I have put the ball or globe. As I told you, candle is working as a sun and the ball is working as a globe here. So, what do you observe here? The half part of the ball receiving light and the other part or the opposite part doesn't receive the light or it is not receiving the light. Okay, student, the part which receives the light is called as day. Okay, is called as day. Okay, and the part which doesn't receive the light is called as night. Have you understood, students? Now, see, I have put my hand on the ball. This side is called as north. This is north. We will... Yeah, do you understand? This is north. If it is north, then the down part or the lower part of this ball is south. Okay. And the darker part you are watching here, that is the west. West side. And the lighter part you see here, this is the east side. You know that earth rotates from west to east. Okay, students. So, I will hold the ball on the top and I will rotate. Watch it now. See. The ball is rotating. Yes. And when I am rotating the ball, the different parts of the earth receiving light. Whenever that part will receive the light, that part will be day. And the darker part will be night. Okay, students. I understand. See, it is rotating. Yes. Okay. So, lighter part. Or the part which receives the light, this is a day. And the darker part is called as night. Okay, have you understood now? Day and night? Okay. Now, we will learn how much time does the earth take to rotate itself. 
ओके यू नो दैट अर्थ रोटेट्स अलोंग विथ इट्स एक्सिस एंड हाउ मच टाइम डज इट टेक टू रोटेट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नाउ ओके फॉर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू पुट अ सर्कल हियर so that we can understand the one rotation or completion of the rotation okay so i will put here i do not have bindi here because in your textbook bindi is mentioned okay but i am putting here a point with a marker pen okay students yes so i will put here a bindi or a point so that we can understand what the completion of rotation of earth Yes, student. Can you see this point, dark point? When we rotate the Earth in this way, okay. When we rotate in this way, when it will come this point, it means that what? What does it mean? Earth has completed one rotation. Okay. So in this way, we are going to see how much time does it take. Okay, students. Yes. So let's get started. Again, I will switch off the light. See, this is the bindi here. You can see the bindi, okay? And it is a lighter part now, okay? Now I will rotate. I will hold the ball on the north pole, and I will rotate it, okay? I will hold the ball on north pole, and I will rotate from west to east side. See slowly. See, can you see the point? Yes. I am rotating slowly. yes the part which receives the light and the part which does not receive the light okay students yes now can you see the bindi here or can you see the darker part here yes see here we can see point here it means that the earth completes a rotation in 24 hours okay how much time does it take it takes 24 hours to rotates along its axis okay student okay so 24 hours so this is one completion of rotation this is the completion of one rotation when when the earth complete one rotation okay it means it completes one day and a night okay and a night see see the bindi here see the point is here when it completes one rotation it completes its one day okay understand student see it completes the day okay students yes now when it rotates along with its own axis see the light this part north part will receive lesser light than the equator part okay okay student have you seen can you see properly yes understood so it day takes 12 hours and night takes 12 hours day is divided into two parts 12 hours of a day and 12 hours of a night okay yes student have you understood now day and night now one more important thing i would like to tell you when the point okay enters in the light that is called sunrise okay that is called sunrise see okay and when the point enters in the darkness that is called as what sunset sunrise and sunset okay now we are going to understand about year how does year occur i told you that the earth rotates along with its own axis like this as well as earth revolves around the sun this is sun so in a particular orbit or in a specific path of the earth the sun will revolve rotating and revolving rotation of the earth and revolution of the earth we are going to learn now so earth rotates from west to its east sorry earth rotates from what west to its see it is rotating now i have drawn the circle that is the orbit okay that is the orbit i am rotating here 
see can you see and you can see the states of lights also changed okay see now a lesser part of the earth receiving light okay see now in this way see this is the lesser part completely you will see now darkness on one side and on this side it is completely this part of the earth receiving complete light and the opposite part of the earth is not receiving light see now complete darkness you can see here can you see okay a complete darkness so that part is a night and the opposite side is receiving light so that is called as day yes yes can you see student some part of earth only receiving the light okay understood student yes see now the shades of light also changing see yeah now the earth is receiving more light see you can see here earth is receiving more light in this way it is rotating itself as well as it is revolving around the sun this is called revolution of earth and approximately 365 days earth takes 365 days to revolve around the sun yes do you understand now how it is revolving and how the uh, how uh, the earth is receiving light from the sun yes student have you understood now so here the earth now is on the original place so it completes one revolution okay one more time i will show you the earth is rotating along its own axis we know that the axis of the earth is tilted 23.5 degree okay see darkness you can see now so this is called rotation and revolution of the earth okay students have you understood now as well as how when it rotates along itself and revolve along its revolve around itself it receives more or less light understood student now it is on the original place yes student have you understood this activity very good so today we have learned the rotation of earth then we have studied the sunset and sunrise as well as we have studied a year about a year okay student very good so this is for today in the next video we are going to study the phases of moon okay if you have liked this video and you find it useful to you like it share it to your friends comment below the video and subscribe it do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will get the current notification of new educational videos thank you and be connected